This is agent-based modeling. This uh, model is slightly different from the rest because the modeling itself doesn't have any value. The outcome of the model provides tons of value. What this model enables you to do is to capture behavior or rules of behavior of individual element within the system, capture the logic, and then run many of as many of them as you want that you can define here and see how all of them are behaving together and now they're impacting the bottom line of a system. So what you see here is a definition of one type of personality. We have four types here. Those are states. The states can be changed by transition line or they can be changed by a code that we are writing here. And once I run the simulation, you see that we have uh, different dots in different colors. There will be one of those four. The logic that I wrote here in this scenario will define which element you're going to see, which type of color of dot you're going to see. Now, once I run it, you see that the dots are moving. And they are moving based on code that I'm writing here. You can also connect them. The logic that you are going to see is that uh, red is shying away from green and green is shying away from red. Uh, but blue is attracted to red and yellow is attracted to green. You see it when we are going to run it. You can use the same logic to connect them. You can see that uh, you can put here like stock and flows bucket that collect data. And those buckets uh, can be filled with data from the logic as well. So you're not just depicting certain behavior of a system. You're also depicting how this behavior is impacting certain certain element that measured in, in in the organization in this particular scenario we are measuring how many capabilities and how many customer certain configuration of a type of personalities are going to create in system and um, the main thing is to run it and watch it so I'm going to run it you are going to see uh, the um, dots and you can see that they are starting to move. Uh, you can see the green are repelling from the red. You can see the attraction between the green and the yellow and the red and the blue. And eventually it ends up in some kind of equilibrium where all the rules are uh, followed and there might be hybrid groups or there might be separate groups. And um, we are taking the end scenario and we are starting to calculate based on internal rule what is going to be the value added of a system based on this configuration and what you can see here is a graph that actually start to measure how many capabilities and how many customers this specific configuration of blue red green and yellow is being uh, is creating that's all pretty simple straightforward as I said before, um, it definitely drives the point when you see the simulation and you see the end results, whether it's visually or it's in data. Uh, but uh, when you're looking at uh, ABM itself, almost edge-based modeling almost has nothing to offer. Um, that's all.